one of the major reasons why we're uh, talking about rain barrels and rain gardens um, is to help reduce the amount of stormwater runoff we have actually entering into our storm sewer system in Clark County. Um, whether you live in the city with your combined sewer overflow where your, uh, your house and everything drains into your actual sewer system, or if you live uh, out into the county where you have a separate storm sewer system, uh, the end result is the same. We have too much stormwater runoff entering into our streams and lakes, and we need to slow that down during uh, rain events. Obviously, as, as uh, places are developed, uh, farm ground is converted into uh, a developed area, whether it's a house or a commercial building, that will increase the amount of stormwater runoff entering into our lakes and streams. One way that the average homeowner can do it is to install a, a rain, rain garden or rain barrel. First you want to start out with your, uh, with your rain barrel. It can be anything that you want to use to actually hold, a, um, hold your water. What we're going to use today is a 55 gallon plastic uh, food grade barrel. Uh, what I have done uh, prior to filming today is drilled a four inch hole on top of the uh, rain barrel. A one inch hole down here at the base opposite the side of the uh, four inch hole you drilled on top. Once you have those holes drilled, uh, step one is going to be installing your spigot down at the bottom. The easiest way that I have found is to get a half inch piece of pipe that threads into your um, drain cooler fitting. Take a piece of string with a nut on the end, the nut through the four inch hole in the top of your barrel, tilt your barrel forward and fish your uh, string through the one inch hole down at the bottom. Now that you have your string installed, if you have a person helping you, they can hold that string tight down at the bottom or you can simply use your foot to hold it tight. Take your drain cooler fitting that you've put your half inch pipe on, install a, a thin bead of silicone caulk, fish your string through the front of the pipe, pull your string tight and drop it down through. Down here at the bottom, grab your piece of pipe that you've used, pull that through, pull your string out, grab your brass nut and screw it so that it, so that it tightens down. Grab your adjustable wrench and just simply snug it. Because you're using a washer fitting, a rubber washer fitting down at the bottom, if you over tighten it, sometimes you can create a leak. Take out your half inch piece of pipe. The only reason you used this was so that you had something to grab onto to pull that uh, drain plug through. Take your brass spigot, put some Teflon tape across the threads, and go on ahead, screw it in down at the base of your barrel. Hand tight is good enough. Wait for that silicone to dry and you'll have a watertight seal down at the base of your barrel. First, you will take your three inch T and take one of your six inch sections of uh, three inch pipe and install one on the, the outside T and the bottom side of the T. Take your other T that you have and install it on the bottom of your T that you've just uh, connected. Install another six inch piece of pipe right here. Take your uh, 90 degree three inch elbow and install it on the, uh, uh, the top T that you've uh, put together already. Take your last piece of three inch uh, pipe that you've, that you've cut, stick it in the top of that 90 that you just put in and install your downspout adapter. Now we have our water that's able to come into the system. We need to figure out, we need to get the water to come out. So you'll take your uh, three inch elbow with your three inch PVC to two inch PVC rubber reducer and install it like this. Now you have your downspout, that downspout water coming in here, going into your barrel once the barrel fills up 
overflows out into your overflow. Take your rubber grommet and your eight inch by eight inch uh, piece of screen. Just set it on top of your grommet so that you have everything put together right like this. You have your downspout that comes in, the water comes down through your pipe into your barrel. Once the barrel fills up, it goes to your overflow, to your existing downspout and takes it away from your house. Simply take your downspout of diversion and install the, the three inch outside diameter grommet into your four inch hole. It fits uh, nice and snug and gives you a nice watertight seal. Periodically, depending on the amount of debris that you get on your roof, you'll have to clean this out. It's really simple to clean out. Uh, if you don't have small, tiny hands to reach down into here, I suggest you don't glue this together because everything fits nice and snug together to where um, nothing will fall apart. You can pull this out, reach down in here, pull out any leaves, debris, sticks, anything like that, clean it out, and install this back together. Maintenance in the winter time, you're gonna wanna drain your rain barrel out, pull this off the top and turn it upside down or turn it to the side so that the spigot is up in the air. A couple different fixes for the mosquitoes, you can put in some, some of those little dunks, mosquito dunks, or just simply put a couple tablespoons of uh, olive oil in the top. It creates a nice oily sheen on top of the water and it prevents uh, uh, mosquito larvae from, from breeding on, in that water. Now that we have our uh, rain barrel built, uh, now it's time to install it and connect it to our existing downspout. Once you have that nice and level and sturdy, you're going to mark on your downspout the top part of your downspout and the bottom part of your downspout where you're uh, going to make your connection into take the water away from your house. Once you've marked that, you'll cut your downspout and install the downspout into the top part here to let your water come in. Once your barrel flows, fills up, your overflow will take the water back into the existing downspout and take it away from your house just like it did prior to this uh, downspout being installed. Make sure that uh, your spigot is actually turned off so that uh, your barrel will hold water during your first rain event. Actually uh, use your water here. You'll just simply kneel down, open up your spigot, dump it into your bucket or watering can, however you want to do it, and water your plants. A typical uh, square footage of a house, uh, figuring on a thousand square feet, one inch rainfall will produce about 650, roughly 650 gallons of water. Thank you for listening to our presentation today on uh, how to build your own rain barrel. Uh, remember anything that you do as a, as a uh, Clark County resident uh, to help reduce our stormwater runoff entering our lakes and streams. Uh, anything that you do will always add up to cleaner water here in Clark County and keeping Clark County beautiful.